conservative media view is what's going on. It's me, John D. Villarreal. And this is a very interesting story and one that I hope has a very successful and positive ending. Apparently, there were some scientists from Russia that have been doing some research in Antarctica. They were doing some drilling for Lake Vostok. This is a large amount of water that has been below the ice. In fact, it's more than two miles below the surface of the ice. Now, what's even more crazy is that this lake, Vostok, this could be over 20 million years. It's even been exposed to the atmosphere above the surface of the ice. That is incredible. First of all, I have to say this is all my personal opinion only. I'm not alleging facts. I'm not casting spurs. And this is all for entertainment and parody purposes only. Please check disclaimers. Now, here's where this gets very unusual in my personal opinion. Apparently, this Russian team, they had been working on this for a while. And they had apparently been in communication with some other teams, including a team that had some American scientists in it. And I think that they were close, like very close, to being able to penetrate uh, the ice and get to that Lake Vostok that had been trapped down there for millions of years. I believe they had satellite phones and there had been ongoing communication to some degree and then no contact. And it's been almost a week since there's been any contact. Now, of course, the conditions in Antarctica are extremely, extremely harsh. And we're certainly concerned with and are hoping for the best for the safety of those Russian scientists. Antarctica has the lowest temperatures ever recorded on the Earth. Temperatures in Antarctica can get lower than minus 100 degrees Fahrenheit. That is super, super cold, deadly cold. Now. What's going on with these Russian scientists? Are they okay? Are they not okay? Why haven't they been communicating? Who knows? Maybe the Russian team is intentionally not communicating with other teams. Maybe there's something secret that they found. Maybe they're trying to keep the information to themselves. Maybe the batteries in their sat phones right now. There could be all kinds of different explanations here. Do you think there's something unusual happening here? What do you think happened to them? Do you think that they're going to be okay? We are certainly hoping that they will be okay, but this right now, as it currently stands, is an incredible mystery. One that I frankly am riveted to. I want to know what happened. Were they able to reach Lake Vostok? What did they find? What's in there? Why aren't they communicating? Where are they now? And what are people doing about it? Let me know what you think about this. This is an incredible story and one that we hope definitely turns out well. Fascinated by what might be going on down there in Lake Vostok. Again, this Lake Vostok has been trapped in ice for over 20 million years. What possibly might be down there? What, if anything, did that Russian team find? Let me know what you think. Give me the comments below. Please subscribe above. I'm John D. Villarreal, and you're watching Conservative New Media.